Well, we're hooping on this episode of the Orange Bowl Huddle. Yes, we're talking about the Orange Bowl Florida High School Basketball Showcase presented by Memorial Healthcare System. Mike Cunio here alongside two University of Miami alums, distinguished University of Miami alums. They'll give me a hard time because, of course, I went to Florida State. We've got Andre Fernandez from the Miami Herald and Alex Frazier, who, of course, played for the U. Guys, yeah, yeah, okay. How many, I don't know how many times we'll do that today, but we're going to try to limit it, if you ask me. Uh, first of all, you're both from down here. The South Florida talent, you know, football, I think, gets a lot of the love. But for you, is basketball kind of the hidden gem down here in South Florida? As we were talking before we got yeah. on camera, you know, you're seeing a lot of great basketball talent between what's happening at Riviera, Columbus, and some of the other local high schools. So Miami's always had kids go mm -hmm. play at Division I schools um, historically, and right now you have some very special talent in town. Andre, go ahead. Brag about my Columbus Explorers one more time. Hey, <laughs> starting with them, they're the, one of the greatest teams probably in the history of South Florida. But like Alex said, I mean, I, I think people forget that even though football really has become, you know, the main sport for a lot of people down here, there's a lot of deep-seated roots here of great basketball. I remember that back in the day, like the, the old Miami Arena used to yeah. be sold out games, you know, between Miami High and Carroll City or, you know, any of the rivalries from back then. So there's always been a love for basketball here and a lot of kids. Maybe you don't see the volume that you see like sometimes in football, but a lot of good kids have made it to the NBA, have made it to play big time college basketball at the D1 level. And I think in recent years, you're starting to see more of it kind of emerge a little more of a, of a boom, you would, I could pretty much say, as kids are starting to get back you know, more and more into basketball again, mm -hmm. and you're seeing it uh, produce a lot of great athletes to the next level. Yeah, and Alex, the Orange Bowl, of course, is jumping on that boom as well with the showcase. What can you tell us about the endeavor? How long has this been going on? Where's it going? And, and what's the success been so far? So prior to us doing the Orange Bowl basketball showcase, we had the football showcase, mm -hmm. and that was extremely successful. And, you know, the team over here at the Orange Bowl decided it was time for us to give the kids that play basketball an opportunity to extend their playing careers into college. So four years ago, we decided to launch this, and we've had great success. Um, in the last four years, we've had 50 kids placed at colleges and over $200,000 in aid provided to them. So it's been a great endeavor. Mm -hmm. You know, the Orange Bowl is known for our football game, but one of the things we really do is focus on our community and make, doing what we can do to help youth and to youth sports. So whether it's football, whether it's basketball, or any of the other things that we do to help um, talk in a positive light for the yeah. um, youth athletes young athletes that's what we're trying to do here mm -hmm. and, you know as someone who played down here of course a, as a young basketball player and to see initiatives like this um, what have you noticed about sort of the recruiting that goes on here in South Florida and how much this can help there's kids that are very talented that are going to get recruited by the major um, division one colleges but there's also a lot of other talent that needs to have the opportunity to play in college and through the showcase we get over last year we had over 25 colleges come here and we had over 300 kids, mm -hmm. boys and girls, um, participate. And we've been seeing that number yeah. um, over the last two, three years just continue to grow. And Andre, how have you noticed maybe some of those numbers shift? Maybe if it's just, you know, by, by even the eye test mm -hmm. about how colleges are now starting to filter down here to South Florida and maybe some of the responses you're seeing from the showcase where, you know, parents, and players are taking advantage of this. Yeah, I think it's similar to football. I mean, for every Cameron Boozer that is going to be in the NBA in a couple of years, you also have a lot of kids that are signing on, let's say, with a Barry University or mm -hmm. St. Thomas University, and they're getting seen more and more. I mean, Anthony Knowles last year at Matter Lakes was one of those kids. Guys that are really are starting to get noticed, and I think the opportunities are just there for, you know, to show not only their athletic talents, their academic merits too, and this initiative is one of them that's really kind of bringing that whole process along and getting a lot of these kids recognized because a lot more co uh, colleges have popped up, you know, in recent years in South Florida, even locally, mm -hmm. to, that kids have been able to stay at home and play in front of their families, you know, and get an opportunity to go to college. So you're seeing this, the, this whole movement by the Orange Bowl just helps that process along. Now, guys, I know we've touched on it a little bit, but of course, this is big for 
women's high school basketball as well. Alex, I mean, the event started with the ladies, didn't it? Like you said, it started off being a women's showcase, mm -hmm. and we had a lot of talented girls come and participate. And every year we've seen girls participate, but this year we'd really like to make a big push to have even more girls come and be part of the showcase. There's amazing opportunities here for girls to be mm -hmm show their talent and have the opportunity to go play on after high school. Yeah, and Andre, there's been some talented uh, girls come out of the area, area as well. It's, it's not, not just, just the guys. guys. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think the evidence is there. I mean, you go starting with, you know, the greatest ever is uh, Sylvia Fowles, who went, I mean, had a great career in the WNBA, played in Europe, and then in more recent years, Beatrice Montpremier had started at Baylor, ended up at the University of Miami. And you're seeing still a lot of talent come out of here now. I mean, Kayla Nelms, at, 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 who signed with Baylor, is one of the best players in the state right now playing for Miami Country Day. There's girls that I've seen in recent years I've signed with, FAU, USF, even smaller division schools. And I think the opportunities that they can get through this showcase will just give them even more of a chance to, to follow in those footsteps. Yeah, and, and Alex, you know, we were talking about football, how this, how this works, where you just need the opportunity to get there. So how much is that opportunity for a kid who maybe doesn't make it to the necessary division one level, but we see, you know, kids make it to the NBA from lower division levels, not to say they're not competitive or anything, but these are those chances Correct. that they can have that maybe they might not otherwise have. You've seen in our NBA team with Miami Heat, you had a guy like Anthony Carter that traveled overseas and then mm -hmm. ended up coming to the NBA. You see it with Udonis Haslam. He, although he played at the University it of might Florida, be poster child he's the poster that. child of that. You know, he went overseas and came back. So mm -hmm. giving kids an opportunity to continue to extend their playing career is a, I think it's something that we at the Orange Bowl are glad that we're able to do. And for those kids that are willing to work and put forth the effort, they get another opportunity mm -hmm. to have one more person see them and you never know what could happen. How much do you think it means to their parents? I hope it means a lot to them yeah. because um, as a committee, and I know the staff at the Orange Bowl, Eric and his team, we really want to make sure the community knows how much we value um, these young people. And we hope their parents recognize the efforts that goes behind um, putting this showcase on. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure you've seen it firsthand. I think one of my favorite things about any signing day is the reaction of the parents, the response from these kids and their families to something like this that gives them that opportunity. What have you noticed? I think it's one of my favorites is always when you see that kid, not necessarily maybe the five-star recruit, but you see the one that, that made it big and really the moment kind of hits them. Mm -hmm. You know, you see the emotion, you see the family kind of around them. I know that's not the ones that people like that produce big headlines all the time, but those are the cool stories that you see yeah. when a kid, you know, when, when a boy or girls basketball player, that's the dream being achieved right there. You know, when they sign that paper and they get that opportunity to play the next few years and, and not only play, but then potentially, even if they don't become a great basketball player in the NBA or WNBA, or you name it, they're getting the opportunity to further whichever career they choose yeah. in whatever field they choose as well. Those are great stories. Another great story is Florida State is 2-0 and against UM in the last two games. <laughs> wow. I don't know if uh, if you guys have been watching. we having much. We're, much we're having a good time, okay. but I just, you okay. know, when, when you're outnumbered, you get on the defensive sometimes really I, quick. I get it. I get it. Uh, um, going forward, we'll, we'll wrap it up here. What, what's your hope, Alex, for, for this event moving forward? As you said, it's in year four, but this is hopefully just the launching point. You know, we're expecting a good number of kids to come out. You mm -hmm. know, Coach Lukey and his team that he's put together to help us kind of launch this. Lukey yeah. was very important in the initial um, um, foundation of this basketball classic. So we hope that we have a lot of colleagues come in, mm -hmm. but more importantly, we have a lot of um, young men and young women that want to continue to, their playing careers in the college to come mm -hmm. out and have their parents see what the Orange Bowl is putting together for their, for their kids to be yeah. able to have an opportunity. Alex, Andre, I, I'm sorry I took the shot, but thank you for, for both <laughs> being here for, for this. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to keep talking as much smack as I can, even when the camera stops rolling. But again, the Orange Bowl Florida High School Basketball Showcase. It's March 9th at the David Posnack JCC up in Davie. Go to orangebowl.org for more information. Once again, I'm your host, Mike Cunio. Guys, thank you so much for doing this. This was a lot of fun, and we'll see you on the next Orange Bowl Huddle. For all the road warriors out there, and the off-road warriors, there's a tire brand that puts you in control. Achilles Tires, 
the newest brand of tires from Florida-based TBC Corporation. Achilles Tires is a proven tire brand that offers five product lines in over 160 sizes, all focused on delivering quality and confidence. Achilles Tires, performance built for the road ahead.